Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed buffoons. Do you have any idea who the killers and victims are for each case? Or just the first? Uh, no. No. No, no, no. No. Absolutely not. I, I mostly go in fully blind when I play games, as I said. And I've never got to the first case. All I know is who the first person to die is. And it's sad, because I try to, like, make the love relationship uh, go as high as possible before she died, and then she died, I'm like, fuck! It was all a waste. And that's when he knew. He f <laughs> oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Oh, well, you see... Um, Makoto? You just said a bunch of stuff happened. Makoto? You said a bunch of stuff happened, and then you just fell asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Yeah, just each of us got in the main hall. We lost consciousness, and we all came to where somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that? Piece of shit! Exactly! That's exactly why we're freaking out! And that's, a, and that's not the only thing we saw. Where all the windows and classes and hallways were, right? But, inst but instead of normal glass windows, it's a bunch of big metal plates. What's that all about? Are you for real? Plus, all this stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, either. And there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked off by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when we first got here. What the heck is going on here? Aww. Maybe we just caught up in some kind of like, you know, a crime or something. Is it like... What? Like, a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet you're all some part of school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So, I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. Oh, so you think you wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Well... Uh, well, if that's all there is, it's nap time for me. You know what I, mean. I was way up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. <laughs> testing, testing, mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school's broadcasting system. Can everyone hear? I, I hate how uh, Monokuma is dubbed the entirety because I want to read his voice lines. How dare you steal my spotlight, Monokuma? Monokuma is my favorite character and I want to read him. U -W -U. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Am I on? Can anyone hear me? Oh, well, okay, well then. Teddy bear pretty evil. Yeah. More like... This bear. <laughs> the voice seemed pretty out of place. It was so playful. Sounds pretty good, TBH. Thank you. It was also my voice for Flowey the Flower on my Undertale playthrough. Man, dish. Dish. Noise. 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 The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of the accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I 
would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. I put more <laughs> to his voice. He's not excited enough. He said, I'll be waiting. No, I'll be waiting. And I got, I'll be waiting. Which I feel like that fits his character more because he's more, ah, yes, time to kill. Ah, oh, you're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the death of the innocent, the despair! It drives me crazy! Oh. That's what I feel like his character is. Not calm, collective. Bear Coon. Mono bear coon. <laughs> All right. What the hell was that now? Goodbye. Well then, if you excuse me. Hey, where are you gonna take off like that? Could it be? Oh yeah. Now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us pumped for the entrance. Uh, ceremony. Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this is real. Alright, guess I'll be hitting out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Damn, I got totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait, for me, I want to go with you. That is, that's then. I will see you then. You are there. Anyway, not that I, anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off to the gym. It was frozen there. I stood. An uneasy feeling I had before I could get out of my mind. It looked like I wasn't the only one. Um, th th this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, the announcement is totally weird. However, maybe it was saying staying put. Doesn't mean I'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? If you're not gonna move forward, we'll learn nothing of the only choices to push ahead. I, I, I guess she, she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't really have a choice. We have to go. They said we have to go to a gym, right? God, I had no idea the Hope Speak Academy place was such a pain in my balls. I ain't really much of a difference from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Um, and why isn't anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't it, like, seriously not good? They're just trying to spook us. They're, they'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. What the hell? It ain't like this. I ain't scared or nothing. Let's get over with this. Hey, damn it. hey where the hell whoever calls over here? What are you Mondo, stop! No running! I shall go too. Hey, wait! I don't want to be here all alone! Whew. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See? Told ya. Totally normal. Entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But, in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! This feels outdated. Huh? Uh, Teddy 
bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! How dare you say your name like that? It is Monokuma! A.K.A. Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Funniest thing I've ever seen. He turned himself into a pickle. His name is Pickle Rick. <laughs> right before my eyes, it was... What was I seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all the anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? Oh, what? The teddy bear can talk! Calm down. I'm sure there's a speaker inside of it. Hey, come on now. I told you I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? What? It moved! Seriously, man. Calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. It's deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex. Even the folks in NASA can't recreate this or even comprehend it. Oh, dude, I remember Usam, Usamimi. Ha! But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear with it. <laughs> bear? That really, you are unfortunate. Now then, moving on. We really you must be getting hurry and getting started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns. Now then. Quiet down, quiet down. Yep, huh. yep. Okay, so he has abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone, stand up at attention and bow. And good morning. <laughs> Good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable uh, entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, oh, uh, make no mistake, you your students are full of potential. Represent the hope of the world and protect such splendid hope. Ta -da! You will all live communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will be living in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end dates for this communal life. There isn't one. In other words, you'll have to be here until the day you die. In other words... Oh wait, I already read that. Such is the school life you've been assigned. <clears throat> what, what did he say? Until the day we d die? Oh, but fear not. We have quite the abundant budget, so... You don't have to look for all the common inconveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're all saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I'm not screwing with you! I'm no liar! All of that you can be 100% sure! Huh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond the walls ever again. Cut off? So those metal plates all over the school. 
there to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will never come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if this school or whatever is behind all this. This is a really bad joke. Damn yeah, you. cut this shit out. This ain't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in the age where you were taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, there are plenty of times to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when the time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come on, what's the matter, all of you? You've decided your own free will to attend Hall Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entry ceremony begins, it's even finished, you've already decided you want to leave. Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I forgot to mention one thing. There is one way you can leave the school. Uh, really? Actually... As headmaster, I've casted a special clause for those who could... Uh, who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, let me tell you about a little fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain the environment of harmony here, we rely, rely on communal lifestyles. And if anyone were to disrupt the harmony, and they alone will be allowed to leave the school. That my students is the graduation class. What? What do you mean by disrupting the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if Silver were to murder another, M murder? Stabbing, strangling, budgeting, crushing, hacking, drowning, and dragging. How you do it, it does not matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all and achieve the best outcomes in the worst possible ways. A chill ran down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave? As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. And beats the hell out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are in the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkest shadow of despair. And I find that so darn exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill others is... It's... Huh? To kill each other is, is to kill each other. I'm sure it's in the dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? What's that blabbering on me? Still, there's no one since. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering. I have two on. You guys forget. You don't get it. Do we? Uh, <clears throat> you guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! You'll keep us saying that forever the same thing over and ever and ever! Listen, from the moment on, this school is your home. Your life, your world. Got it? 
You can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead, go on, a kill, kill, killing spree! Alright, come on, how long are you going to keep this up? Huh? You got us, okay? You scared the heck out of us. So, you want to go ahead and reveal this trick now? Oh, I can reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, I guess, I mean, you know. It's all some kind of trick, and all right. So, uh, like, dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Serving hero Simondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? You son of a- Mondo roared out, and then with a sudden boom, it was a sound of floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself in the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know, the ferocity stunned him in silence or whatever, but a while weird, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did... The, the hell? That sh that sure was shit wasn't a joke. He blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ear, and I couldn't smell. And I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen at times in movies or whatever, but this isn't real life. I've never seen anything like that. But you know, that means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Come on! Uh, another one! You son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you! You did violate one of the school rules, after all! I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better watch your. be careful from now on! Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a spat on their butt. Sweat. This is bad. Hey, why does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> Boo -hoo -hoo! And I just won't be forgetting what my punishment next time, so I don't have to do it again. Happen so don't let it happen again. Th that's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well, now then, lastly, to commemorate your Jewish entry to the school, I have a little something for you. This is the unofficial. This is the official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e handbook. Hmm. Yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to your healthy school life, so don't lose it. 
When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure to have it the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it completely waterproofs. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to the space age design, it will withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. And, oh, I read this again. It contains all your school's regulations, so make sure you reveal them thoroughly. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violence of school regulations, oh, violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules, restrictions, yes, but they also protect society. For example, you must utter chaos without laws. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial to have strict punishment in place of violation, violators. Well, that brings our ceremony, entry ceremony, to a close. Bye-bye! Please enjoy your abrupt, dreary, dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was... Oh, and with that, he was gone, leaving us in a state of shock. So, guys, uh, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or kill? What? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is we stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, if we want to if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone that's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into the place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is... Ah, this is... This is... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie. That's what it is. All these ridiculous things. I, we've never heard. This all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is, is there anyone here who seriously consider all of this? To, to that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all started at one another trying to gauge each other's thoughts I almost tasted their hostility and that's when it hit me I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out you must kill someone if you want to leave those words are planted vicious thoughts deep in thinness each of us became suspicious of everyone else we were forced to wonder is everyone gonna betray us is somebody gonna betray us and that's how my new life began this school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hope so high. It's not a school of hope. It's... It's a school of despair! Surviving students, 15. To be continued. <laughs>